Hey everyone, back again. Today I have a really interesting puzzle for you. So a really big fan of mine named Yamit, who owns her own puzzle company or brand, um, reached out to me and asked if I would try one of her puzzles, which of course I had to say yes to because I love puzzles and I love trying new ones. So today I'm gonna be trying a water and wine puzzle. Look at how cool that is, you guys. So what this is, it's not just a puzzle, but it's also an educational experience. So Yamit is a, and I am totally gonna say this wrong because it's a French word. I spent a lot of time on Google trying to get the pronunciation down. I still don't think I have it. I'm not very good at French. I'm gonna try though. Okay, so it's a sommelier. I don't think I said that right at all. Feel free to correct the pronunciation in the comments if you guys could possibly kind of give me some guidance on how to actually say that right. I'm sure I'm not. But basically what that is, if like me, you don't know, is um, it's a person who knows a whole heck of a lot about wine. So they study it, they learn all about it, they learn basically everything that there is to know about wine um, and basically become an expert on it. Um, so yeah, she studied wine and all that good stuff. And because of COVID, everything kind of stopped. And what was once a hobby for her, she kind of turned into these puzzles. So da, 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 da. this is the end result. So these are all hand drawn. They're all like, they're all meant to give you an educational experience about wine. So there's some information on the box. There's like the, everything about this is educational. This is specifically about Italy and they have about 10 different um, countries available right now. I fell in love with the graphics when I first got it. Like, look at these things. It reminds me so much of one of my childhood puzzles, which ironically I have right here. This was the first thing that sprung to mind when I saw it. I was like, oh my gosh, the idea of the art style reminded me so much of that. And that was one of my favorite puzzles as a kid. So I am already instantly in love with this puzzle. It looks like it might be a little bit difficult too, which is, uh, going to be interesting to see. I could be wrong, but with the busyness, it just looks like it's going to make for a really good challenge. So the purpose of these puzzles is not only to have fun and do puzzles, but to teach you a little bit about wine as well. And even when I first looked at the box and all that good stuff, it's already taught me a couple things that, I mean, to be fair, I don't know that much about wine other than it can be expensive and there's specialty kinds. I, I'm not a big wine person. So for me, all of this is all new information. And I just think it's so cool that you can take something that has pretty much nothing to do with puzzles and make a puzzle in a way that's kind of interesting for anyone who is either interested in wine or interested in travel. I fall more in the travel category, but hey, I'm still curious to see all the information that we can learn about wine. So these puzzles are all hand illustrated. They're made in the year in um, Europe, which is <laughs> kind of far away, which kind of explains why the price point is a little bit higher. And they're supposed to be made out of premium materials. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what it's like. All right, friends, let's crack this open and see what we can see. Oh, I find it interesting that there's even information on the back of the box here, which I will show you a little bit closer up after we open up the puzzle itself and give you guys a little bit of a closer look at the box because I'm curious to see what's inside of here. There's supposed to also be information inside the box as well. I learned so much. <laughs> oh my goodness. I didn't know there was so much about wine. Like I literally thought there was just wine and expensive wine. Oh. I feel like Italy was such a good choice too, especially for someone like me who doesn't know anything about wine, because this is one of the main wine places, right? Alrighty, alrighty, super sturdy box. I'm loving it. Ooh, smokes. Okay, decent sized pieces. They kind of remind me of Ravensburger right off the hop with like the blue back and all that. What we got here? We have do 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 do. Use me to the puzzle as a puzzle box stand. Oh, cool. And it even shows you how I don't have to figure it out. I don't have to do hard origami. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure if I will use that, but we will see. Oh, and here is our poster. Oh, actually, that's printed really nicely. Ooh, probably a little too big for the camera angle here, but you guys get the general idea. Wow, actually, <laughs> that's 
a really nice poster. Okay. Oh, cool! You guys, look at how nice the inside of that box is. Literally, that's probably the nicest inside of a box I've ever seen. I just love the art. That's nice. It looks old timey to me somehow or something. I don't know. I just like the style. That's really cool. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So you get your standard, pretty much. Nothing too, too crazy. Poster, stand, puzzle, of course. I'd be very sad if there was no puzzle. Is there anything? Oh my gosh, there is! Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so this is more like my type of beginner information kind of thing. Look at this. It's got like a little know your wine chart inside the back of the box. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's cool. Okay, and it's even kind of giving you, okay, I find this extremely fascinating. Again, I don't know anything about wine, so this is like, really, this is all new information for me, and who knew? I, mean, I didn't even know there were different shapes of wine glasses. Is that weird and disappointing? I don't know any wine lovers out there. Is that weird that I thought they were all the same shape? Anyways, it gives you like a little diagram of the glasses itself. Oh my goodness, are you supposed to drink different wines in different glasses? What? Whoa. Other types of, well, okay, yeah, like I need that, and that and that, like the standard wine glasses, so like, what? Oh my gosh, okay, wow. And I did not think, I really thought that there was like red rosé, well, I guess there are, but then you've got all these other things too. Oh, wow, cool. Huh, okay, yeah, by far, I got it. this is the most interesting inside of a box I've ever seen. It's rare for there to be art inside the box. Huh, okay, cool. Neat, I'm impressed already. Do, do, do. All right. What do we have for puzzle pieces here? And like, I really feel I'm getting Ravensburger vibes here. Like this reminds me very much of Ravensburger already. Okay, yeah, so I can tell you already the quality of the puzzle is going to be really, really good. The pieces are probably going to stick together exactly where they're meant to kind of thing. Looks like all the pieces are printed really, really well too. So the picture is going to be so clear and so crisp when everything is done. There's a picture. There's a little glimpse of some of the pieces if I don't drop them close up. They've got that blue background just like a Ravensburger piece. Kind of the same durability and all that. Okay, so yeah, if I was to equate this to a quote unquote known brand, it would be Ravensburger. So I should start out by saying I was a little surprised that this is as expensive a puzzle as it is. It's about $49 US. And to any of my Canadian family watching, you do have to pay duty on that as well, too. So that does jack up the price. But. I gotta say, it's kind of earning its stripes already with that price. Like, I mean, it's, I was a little, I, I, not knowing what I'm getting into, I was a little worried. I was like, ah, okay, what's the quality gonna be like, kind of thing. Quality's worth it. The, this box is impressive, seriously. Like, I'm impressed with the box. I feel like it's gonna end up being worth it and we're gonna learn something along the way. Definitely not something that I would go out and buy all the time, but really works well for a gift. And it's not it's better than something you can get from like Vistaprint, but uh, trust me, those are, they have their gift value if you wanna have a picture in a puzzle, but it is not the most amazing quality of puzzle. The picture's nice. They know that they know their stuff with that puzzle, not so much. <laughs> All right, guys, let me show you a bit of a close up of the box. Alrighty, guys, as promised before we start, here is the close up of the box and the picture itself. Look at all these tiny details. Again, I was a little worried about till I saw the quality of the pieces. A little less worried now. Not it should be pretty good. I'm a little excited. I think I'm going to start with the water because that just seems like the most obvious. And maybe some of these orange bits or something. I feel I, like I'm a little overwhelmed with the amount of information that they were able to cram into a puzzle. Like This is really cool. So they've already got... Okay, so there's a little legend down here that kind of tells you about the different types of wines it looks like and all these different names that are popping up on the puzzle itself. So you've got white, rosé, red, sparkling, and blends. 
So if it's got that little red background, then it's a red. If it's got pink, it's where a rosé. Interesting. Okay, cool. That's a neat way of doing it and a good way of adding color as well, too. I'm kind of curious if the, if the if it was just art design or if maybe the colors of the um, of the different regions kind of have anything to do with it. I'm, I sort of feel like it's just color design, but hey, you never know. All right, guys, let's get into this.
All right, friends, we're on the last few pieces here. Now let me just say I was totally wrong about what is hard about this puzzle. The color breakup on it was actually way better than I thought. Like, holy smokes. The, uh, the water? Tough part. Holy crap. It all looked the same. Where are my last two pieces here? All right, friends. So I do have some really tragic news. I am unfortunately missing two pieces. I just went around, I, um, I double checked underneath the puzzle itself. I lifted it up even, checked my chair, checked the floor around, did a huge sweep, nothing. Ah, I double checked and rechecked and checked, checked, checked. I'm really sad about that because it's such a beautiful puzzle and I had so much fun putting it together. I'm sure if I contact the company, they'd be more than happy to do something for me because they actually seem like really nice people. Um, so on that end, I'm not too worried about it. It does happen, you know. I mean, it is a new puzzle, but really, I, I mean, it, it happens. It really does. Most companies are pretty good about it. But on to the positives. My goodness, you guys, look at this puzzle. Look at how pretty it turned out. This top part up here was actually really easy to put together, surprisingly. The colors stood out really well. I was a little worried because of all the information that they've got crammed into this puzzle. I thought for sure that the words were going to be really tricky to put together. But it was actually so much fun. Who knew that there were so many different types and flavors and things to do with wine? My goodness. I gotta say, as a person who does not drink wine, this puzzle was still so much fun to put together. They're designed to be an educational experience, and honestly, yeah, like, I, I had more fun doing this than I ever did in school or anything. One of my favorite parts is that they have this little chart on the side here, this little legend to tell you what kind of different wine it is. And honestly, even putting those together, my favorite were definitely the sparkling ones. For whatever reason, those names were just the most fun to put together. Um, as a non-wine drinker, 100%. No idea there were so many different flavors. Like, what? Oh, <laughs> this wine bottle was actually really fun to put together as well, too. I, I, those were probably my two favorite parts of the puzzle. Maybe the red spots as well, too. I really liked picking those out. As a whole... The puzzle quality was phenomenal. I ended up really liking the brand. It is extremely comparable to Ravensburger puzzles. They're pretty much the exact same type of quality. Um, and yeah, honestly, the colors turned out really nice. The pieces are beautiful. They have this really matte feel to them as a finish. Like it's, it, it feels funny when you <laughs> rub your hand along really quickly, almost like felt or something. That's probably the best way that I have to describe it. This was so much fun. Alrighty guys, so I gotta say, that was a really positive experience puzzle-wise. I am a little sad about the two missing pieces, I'm not gonna lie, but it does happen. It does, even with ones fresh out of the box, it can happen. No one's fault, just something that kind of happens. I hope that they can maybe send me the missing pieces. I know sometimes it's a little trickier with thousand piece puzzles. I don't necessarily want them to go to the trouble of sending a whole new puzzle. Eh, it's all right, like I, I had my fun. The puzzle's still beautiful, it just happens. I really have to admire how they used up every square inch of not only the box itself, but the puzzle. They really crammed a lot of information in here, and as someone who does not drink wine has almost nothing to do with it, I had no idea, no idea that there was so much involved in it. And I have to admire how they could give someone who either knows a lot about wine, really enjoys it, would still have a lot to take away from this puzzle or someone like me who just doesn't drink wine at all can still enjoy the puzzle can still find the beauty in it and can even learn something in the process so i would say that this puzzle did its job i will definitely probably be scooping up the scottish whiskey one for myself i find that one to actually that i like whiskey i'm a whiskey drinker so that one has the most appeal to me for sure i love the travel aspect behind it because i love anything to do with travel I think it's so cool, such a neat concept to take something that's loved by so many people, makes such a great gift. I do have to say on the Canadian side of things, they do end up being a little bit pricey just with the conversion and the shipping and all that. So it definitely makes for a good gift. I know for myself and my budget, it wouldn't be an everyday purchase, but 
definitely something that's worth saving up for. Alrighty guys, that's pretty much it for me. I gotta give this one like a solid 9.5 out of 10. There's almost nothing that I would change about this puzzle. Like it, I admire their use of space. I think it's so cool that they actually use the inside of the box. Like no one does that. Um, yeah, honestly, it's really solid puzzle, really good brand. I was pleasantly surprised with the high quality. Oh, and hey, fun fact, they're made in Europe, which is probably a little bit where the higher price point comes in. Makes sense. If they're like Ravensburger, they're probably using the same distribution, that kind of thing. All right, you guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye!